Hello everyone. Long time no see, am I right? Well, I know it's not exactly Friday, and I usually do Funko stuff on Fridays, but yeah, I've been a little all over the place lately, so I figure since I haven't done a video in a while or done anything Funko-wise in a while, i would kind of show you what I've gotten Funko-wise the last couple months. As far as I know, this is everything Funko I've gotten in the last couple months between places closing and everything else going on right now. So, as you know, a couple months ago, Toys R Us closed, so I do have a Toys R Us exclusive to show you. But the other sad thing for me is that my FYE that is the closest to me, well, was the closest to me, which was only about 30 minutes to 45 minutes away, roughly, closed recently. And the last Funkos I got from there were a couple of rock candies that were San Diego Comic-Con exclusives. And I will show those to you as well. And then there, and then I just have a couple here that, you know, I just thought people might want to see. I have a couple others as well. So I will be showing you all of the Funkos I have recently purchased. I will not be unboxing any of them today. So if you would like to see a full unboxing of any of the Funko Pops or products that I am showing you in this video, please comment down below and I will get to them as soon as I can. I just want to hear people's opinions on whether they want me to unbox them or not. So now to show you the Funko Pops individually. I'll start out with my Marvel Pops that I recently bought, or recently-ish bought. Right here I have Bruce Banner from Thor Ragnarok. I still have not seen Thor Ragnarok, so I don't really know how this comes into play, but I did not have a Bruce Banner Pop yet, so I figure Toys R Us exclusive. Toys R Us is going to be gone, so I should probably go ahead and buy it because I don't know if Toys R Us exclusives are going to go up in price or not, but just in case, I figured I'd pick him up. Here's the other pops that were in the line. These are all of the ones that are not exclusive. So that is Bruce Banner. Next Marvel pop I got was Deadpool, which is the only other Marvel pop I have to show you guys. This is the Bob Ross version of Deadpool. See, I've wanted a Bob Ross for a while, but I've also wanted to get a Deadpool. So I figure this is the best way to kill two birds with one stop. So I bought the Deadpool as Bob Ross. There's no more on the back because most of these, there's a good portion of it. There's a lot of Deadpools. Let's just go with that. There's a lot of Deadpools for Deadpool 2. But I bought this one particularly because I love the commercial with the Bob Ross Deadpool. And I also, you know, love Bob Ross's art. And I also love Deadpool. So I figure, yeah, <laughs> get them both. Next up, I will show you the two rock candy figures I own. These are the only two rock candies I own at this point in time. I have Wilma. Wilma Flintstone. She was a San Diego Comic-Con 2017 exclusive, only sold at FYE, and the con itself, if I remember right. And this one is the Betty Rubble Rock Candy. I absolutely fell in love with these the first time I saw them, and so I figure FYE is closing, so I should probably pick those up while I still have a chance, because this could be my last chance to ever get them unless I want to pay overpriced stuff on eBay. Next up is a movie pop. This is the regular version of Parzival. I do plan on getting all of the rest of the Ready Player One Funko Pops at some point in time. As of right now, I only have him, but I plan on getting the other exclusive of him at some point in time if I can pick it up, which is a Hot Topic exclusive. And I also plan to get the Artemis exclusive, which looks exactly like his Walmart exclusive, although Artemis is exclusive, even though it looks exactly like his, but of course Artemis, is a GameStop exclusive, but I've seen hundreds of them at every single GameStop I've ever been to. She should be pretty easy for me to be able to get, but this is the Walmart exclusive Parzival. Last two Funko Pops I will be showing you are also Walmart exclusives. I have finally purchased the Killer Croc hooded figure because he was on sale. Only bad thing is he has a giant hole in the bottom but luckily you don't ever see the bottom of pops usually so it's perfect for my collection and I don't really mind so yeah there is the Hot Topic exclusive Killer Croc hooded. The other Funko Pop that I have recently purchased is the Walmart exclusive Skeleta Calaveras because why not and there are also a couple other Fungos in this line, but she is the, I would say the rarest in the line, but she's the least expensive out of all of them. I bought her off of Walmart.com because you cannot find her in store anymore. But yeah, that's all of the Funkos I have recently purchased. I have one more coming, but 
I figure I'll show her off in her own private video. If you want to see a review of any of these, go ahead and comment down below. And I will see all you guys in the next video. Please comment, rate, and subscribe.